Before we continue, I'd like to uh, take a moment to clarify or re-clarify a number of uh, terms and definitions that we use. Uh, for organizing the content plan and model progression specification data, we use uh, two types of, 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 of structures. One is the building element categories. Those are the, um, uh, the categories that, uh, that may be defined by a uh, classification system such as Uniformat. Aspects are the things that we would like to include in our model. Uh, and aspects are uh, the, uh, the model, uh, the cost, and the schedule information. But as mentioned earlier, could include um, energy calculation information and things like that as well. And for project planning, uh, we use stages. And we use stages that are numbered rather than uh, phases uh, such as 50% uh, CDs, and the 90% uh, CD uh, that you typically do because we believe that with building information models you will have more stages than the traditional phases. Plus it becomes easier, or it, it will be possible uh, to tie these stages to the traditional phases. Just say that you will reach the traditional phase CD at 90% uh, at stage 15. The intermediate planning can then be done with the stages in the, uh, in the progression specification. The information richness for, that is targeted per building element category in each of the stages is uh, the level of detail. Again, also referred to as level of development. And the information richness for each of the aspects is referred to uh, as classes. So a class 2 model, a class 3 estimate, and a class 4 schedule. So when we develop the uh, virtual construction plan, just like when we plan for the actual construction, uh, we create a model progression planning that includes uh, these items and uh, we start to refer to the primitives that I talked about a little bit earlier. We start off by defining the categories that we would like to recognize in the project. So we've got the building element categories here to the left. Then across the top we have the stages that we want to release a version of, at which we want to release a version of the uh, building information model. So in this example we've got um, uh, just three building element categories. We follow the uniformat classification structure but it could be uh, just any classification structure that you'd like to use. Um, the number of stages uh, could be uh, the uh, uh, number of, of meetings or decision moments that you have set up for your project. And e at each intersection you define a targeted level of detail. So for stage four, uh, for the B1010 building element category, we want to be at level of detail 200, which will require a certain class of model, a certain class of estimate, and a certain class of schedule. So what we can then do is pick the primitives that we would like to use and implement a, um, a kit of parts uh, that we can use to reach that desired level of detail. So we're going to develop a toolkit for each of the stages which include design, cost, and schedule information. So with the MPS 3.0, when you plan a stage, you first define the required data that is, uh, that is needed for uh, the meeting or decision uh, at the end of that stage. Then you select the required primitives and review the specifications that you've put together in those primitives. And primitives are something that uh, become your standard. Uh, so that is what you uh, provide as um, a, a, a guidebook, a, a set of guidelines for development of your building information models. Once you've done that, you define the elements for the project specifically. 
and you can do that in what we like to call the warehouse or the, the three the virtual construction warehouse a separate model that contains samples of the elements that you're going to use in that stage the same thing for cost data so the warehouse contains all of the elements for a stage it contains all of the cost assemblies with formulas and the formulas uh, in Vico Office uh, allow you to predefine the connection uh, to the building elements that you've created in the uh, in the stage model in the in the warehouse and then also a task list with mapping uh, so when you know which cost assemblies and components and which quantities you're going to get out of your building information model uh, you can predefine the list of tasks that can derive their quantities from that data set. Then as soon as you're done with that, you have your toolkit for that stage, which can be shared on maybe a, uh, a website or a, uh, uh, a, a file sharing uh, system. And that allows each of the team members to drag and drop content from the warehouse into the project. So when you create your model, you copy elements from the warehouse into your model. And those elements will be named correctly. And so there's no surprise when you get to the estimating stage and publish the model um, and, uh, and need to find out which model element needs to be linked to, to which cost estimating component and assembly. You can predefine the formula in the warehouse as well, so in the, the reference uh, cost database, uh, which contains the assemblies. And when you do that up front in the warehouse, you copy and paste your assemblies into the Vico project, do the same thing with the task, and you're done with uh, your stage as soon as all of the content has been completed. So this is a, uh, an example of what that may look like. We've got a warehouse model here to the left. We've got a warehouse reference database over here to the right that contains all of the cost line items that I uh, want to use during a stage. Uh, those cost line items may come from your standard database. Uh, so you might have a uh, company standard database or they might be developed just for this project specifically. Uh, there might be elements that uh, you've never dealt with before. Um, a quick way to get started on this would be uh, uh, Vico's 5D data pack, uh, which contains hundreds and hundreds of predefined elements along with uh, their uh, cost estimating content. And then besides the model information, cost information that you prepare for the stage, uh, you can prepare a task list that you can copy into the scheduling application.